We're not robots, right? But his spirit lives on the inside of us, so he's working through us, and Christ is perfection, right? So when we put on Christ, we put on his perfection, although we're imperfect people. Amen. So we are completely redeemed. We're no longer trying to be redeemed. We're no longer working to be redeemed because that's under the law. And Christ fulfilled it in itself, right? Through and through. He chose us before we were born, right? But before we receive that, we're dead spiritually. Our spirit man is lying dormant. We are not redeemed yet. We don't we don't become redeemed till we surrender to Christ. So it's not people walking around that's just redeemed just because Christ died on the cross. No, they have to receive it. Right? So we have a gift given to us, it's Christmas time, right? When people is given gifts, we have to receive that gift, right? If we want to benefit from what's in the package. <laughs> If we want to benefit what's in the get in wrap in the wrapping, we have to receive it first. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. How are we gonna benefit what's in the wrapping paper? We never received the gift. Yeah. Right? So Christ is the greatest gift of all. We need to understand around this time as well. People need to understand that. So it's like we have the by God's grace, we have the greatest gift of all in Christ. If we don't receive him, we can't benefit of anything that, that has to do with Christ. We don't benefit from it. We don't benefit eternal life, which is the main thing. But we don't benefit any of the thing. We don't. We, we can't have eternal joy. We can't have eternal peace. We can't e have eternal comfort. We can't have e eternal patience. We can't have none of these eternal love. None of that. If we don't receive the gift, Amen. But a lot of times, people want what has to do with the gift, but don't want to receive it, right? So they want it partake of everything that has to do with Christ all the blessings and all the stuff they want but they don't want to receive Christ they don't want to surrender we have to surrender but it comes by grace right he fashions our heart and it's the, the grace of God comes on our hearts and we receive them only the only way we could we can be in God's presence is to be forgiven of sin and that's only comes to atonement for sin we can't atone it's nothing I can do we, 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 we feed the homeless out here. We go around and do do things and, and give to children and do all that. That's not what I don't do it because I'm trying to make it in. The Holy Spirit leads me to do it. Right? That's because that's the fruit of salvation. That's the fruit. Right? That's the fruit of the Spirit. Not fruits. Fruit of the Spirit. Right? It's part of it. So that's what comes when we are saved. Right? That's why we do certain things. Doesn't matter how high up a person goes and they feel, oh, I, I have I have this much word or or I have this theology degree or whatever the case may be. That's not going to absolve, absolve anyone from the sin, sin nature. <laughs> sin nature going to be there. But through Christ is dead, so now I can rebuke it. But the sin nature is there. It just don't disappear. Because I received Christ one day and it's just going to disappear. No, we struggle. It's an everyday struggle. I feel it every day. Some people are like, oh, you didn't do this or you didn't do that. I say, no, I struggle with sin just like you do. I keep it real.